Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually making a base game under 20 grand build. <laughs> I am so proud of myself. Um, so I started off with a different house uh, which I will be posting. It's just not going to be a cheap build. <laughs> or like uh, an expensive build because I don't know I, I did the kitchen with the parenthood stuff pack and it just looks so beautiful so I just started a new build uh, the same day um, but yeah I'm actually really proud of myself it is a tiny home and it is a bit um, it, it's a very basic it's a very basic base game house uh, and I wanted to do a, a base game house but have it be two story and it has everything that your sim needs it has a little bookshelf and it also has a, a computer upstairs so we managed to put in a computer um, it's a one bedroom at the moment however you can definitely definitely expand this house and put in more bedrooms once you you know um, your sim will start working and you'll start earning a bit more money you can definitely add on to this house um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this build i got a request for a base game starter it wasn't a base game but it was a starter home on instagram so i just wanted to do that for you all and also it was a bit of a challenge for myself i really wanted to use a lot of the clutter items but I ended up using like minimal clutter items because clutter items are really expensive. And so yeah, in, in the result of non-cluttery um, items in this build, this video is actually shorter than my last video. My last video is like a 30 minute video. Um, but that's only because it's, it's a basic, like basic build. And again, I got the inspiration from the website that I use, the architectural um, website. I forgot the website again. And I really wanted to do like a slope, um, slope roofing. And I was going to do the drop, like the drop down, um, floor is just, um, I wanted to add, I'm not sure if your Sims can step up without the stairs. And if I wanted to add stairs, it would have cost me more. So if you all download this video, um, the living room can definitely be like a drop down flooring so it can be kind of like a split level if you'd like um and have it be a little bit open to the kitchen or like a little separation from the kitchen i'm sorry and then we did manage to put like a little island in the kitchen i really love this kitchen um for it being like a little base game home um i like the little island on the side and the dining table i put it in the living room uh, because I wasn't sure if your sim will be able to fit um, and eat on the... I was going to put it by the stairs, but I wasn't sure if your sim were, was going to work. Sorry. <laughs> it's really hot today, guys. It's like we're expecting a heat wave this week. I'm so ready for October, and I'm hoping October it cools down. And I already have to plan my spooky builds i want to do some mansions some scary homes some haunted houses maybe some like vampire homes i'm so excited and i hope we get um well i hope that we get all our, our patches fixed for because the screenshots again in this video oh and i want to apologize for the the bottom being cut off again i changed the settings and i forgot to change it on OBS so I'm so sorry guys um, but yeah anyway um, I'm hoping that we get an update to fix the picture thing because again the pictures are kind of blurry for this build and they were blurry for my Spanish villa and I don't know if you all have any recommendations of where else I can take screenshots um, because using like the regular method the screenshots are coming out super blurry and it just takes away from the house and it really sucks because I you know my computer is really slow and so I spend a lot of time getting in details and stuff like that and then when I see the pictures and they're blurry I get super disappointed so um, we actually had to delete that little chair there um, 
I wanted to put a little bit of a greenery outside so I deleted the chair and I think a side table on the little hallway down there leading towards the outside so and then outside I did manage to put a tree and two planters so so your sim will be able to start uh, writing or you know if they want to do some planting they can do that um, also there's books there there's a little bookshelf upstairs uh, yeah see i was trying to put this the book the dining table there but it wouldn't fit um so yeah i did manage to put a little bit of clutter here and there um the bathroom was supposed to be upstairs, but because of I wanted to save on more money, I had to kind of minimize the upstairs a little bit. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, that's fine. It's like a little loft. It's like a tiny home without it being like a super tiny home. I kind of do want to build a small, like a tiny home. Um, like I've seen a lot of like uh, Pixelade. He's built some, and I've seen some on Discord and stuff like that. But I don't know it looks like a challenge it looks pretty cool though but I don't know how to do it so maybe I'll experiment a little bit but this is supposed this one is actually inspired by a tiny home that's on the website that I um, I saw now we'll build, be building a lot more family homes and stuff like that um, in the next coming weeks that I'm actually really excited to start building these there's one that's like two-story like blue house that I'm excited to build so yeah I'm just um, doing some finishing touches. Um, I, like I said, I didn't really add that much clutter. Um, I tried to, and every time I did, it went over budget. And so I was like, no. <laughs> but I, I did uh, manage to add some in the bathroom. And then see, like, I forgot the flooring in there. Um, so yeah, the backyard is a bit bare. However, you can definitely make improvements when you get this house. And yeah i had a little bit of planters here and there and we're at the end of the video so go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the little bell if you want to know when i upload more videos go ahead and give me a thumbs up for this video if you want to follow me on social media it's a bubbly simi for twitter and bubby simi for instagram and thank you all so much for watching and have a bubbly day